Welcome to this. Today's episode of Chikara Podcast, the go-go. I'm Wiggly. With me is Lightning Mike, Quack and Bush. What do we got today, Mike? Hey, today on the go-go, we have got for you non-tournament action from night three of Young Lions Cup 6. It's the first meeting ever between the big rig Brody Lee and the Naptown Dragon himself, Mr. Drake Younger. And that's coming up in this very next clip. <laughs> This Hellertown crowd firmly behind Drake Younger. He impressed them so much two nights ago. More hard forearm shots. Both men He's giving got. I think Brody Lee got the better of the exchange there only at the very end. Drake with a Polish hammer-like strike. Can't take the big man down though. Brody Lee's still on his feet. Boy, Brody Lee may be the Here Mack truck, the but Drake Younger's is like a steam train. Beautiful suplex! He just keeps coming and coming. Grab the bottom rope. The power of Drake Younger, pretty shocking. He's able to get the big man up for those moves. Drake Younger now taking the bigger man to the ropes, weaving underneath is Brody, who whirls around like a black hole slam and takes Drake Younger down. Dropped him right in the middle of the ring. Looking for the Liger Bomb. Oh, he just drops. That might be it for Drake Younger. No, it's not. The Naptown Dragon gets his arm up. It's not over yet. Brody Lee looks absolutely shocked. He can't believe this guy's still got gas left in the tank. But he, wanted, he, he wanted the big boot there, and Drake, luckily, had the presence of mind to get the heck out of there. Elbows to the back of the neck. Can he get him up? Can he get him up? The Drake's landing. Brody. Brody. Yeah, I think too long to make that work. Much too big. Much too big. The boot. He just One, nailed two, him. Three. That is it. Chikara fans, in case you haven't heard, smartmarkvideo.com is the place to go for all our official releases, and you won't have to wait long because the season finale shows are on the way soon. In fact, depending how fast they work, maybe already. They are quick. It comes one in and out the other like a big grinder, and then they make them and it comes out. And you like it, it's like a pie, so made out of mud. Hey, here comes the end of this show. We got another clip, the other clip. Let's roll that clip. It's the finals of the Young Lion Cup from the just place about 90 months ago. And you can f see it right now, Vin Gerard taking on Fire Ant. I hope, I know. I mean, yeah. Go down the third time, Loudon. Fire Ant, miraculously. Oh! Vin just shoved his boot right to the back of the head. Oh, I just curb stomping him right into the middle of the ring. Face first into the canvas. Locks it in again. STF once again right in the center of the ring. Pulling hard. Vin Gerard pulling with everything he's got. Bryce is checking him and the arm's not even going down once, Loudon. No, Fire Ant's got the fire inside. His arm is up. He sees his allies at ringside. He rolls in the ropes. He rolls in, he makes it. Wait a minute, they're not letting go of the hold. They just tumble to the outside, Loudon. Down on the arena floor. It looks like Vigerard looking to hook in that STF on the arena floor now. Yeah, he's got him, he's got him locked right on the floor there. Oh, he's got it locked hard on that unforgiving floor of the American Legion Hall. Bryce Remsburg instigates the count. And you see the other technicals unfortunately looking on. They cannot do anything if they interfere in this. That'll cost the match for their compatriot here. Now we can't have a double count out here. This cannot end in a double count out. And again, you gotta think someone as twi twisted and demented as Vin Gerard. I'm sure he'd be happy with a double count out. No one gets the cup. He relinquishes the hold, but the damage has been done. He's, his lifeless body just being drug across the floor. Is he dragging him outside, it looks like? No, he stopped. He's a good ways away from the... Vin Gerard doing the damage on the outside. Fire Ant. Fire Ant's a long way to go. He's nowhere near the ringside area. He's got a long...
long way to go to get back in that ring. And look at that smug grin on Vince Gerard's face. That cocky, cocky smile of a sadistic Vince Gerard. He couldn't be happier. And Fire Ant now just starting to stir finally with the help of these people. Fire Ant has got to dig down deep. He's got to win this one, not only for the colony. And he can barely made it. Come on, Fire Ant. He made it back into the ring against all odds. He's got to win it for the colony. He's got to win it for all the luchadors in the Chikara locker room. Vigerard racked over his shoulders and oh, down hard. Falling hammer right now. Oh my God, Vigerard is back up. Vigerard stands right up. Beast breaker right in the center of the ring. Covers him. Two, three, it's yeah. over. Fire and wins. Fire and wins. Chicago fans, that concludes coverage of Young Lions Cup 6. And that also brings to an end another year of Chikara Podcast to go go. Now, we're going to take the season off to enjoy the holidays, and we hope you'll enjoy the season as well. We'll see you in the new year with a new batch of Chikara Podcast to go go. Big thanks, of course, to Wiggly, Chiz, Bryce Remsberg, Ultramantis Black, Tim Donst, Hydra, Loud and Noxious, Joe Negron, who's never here, Robocop, Max Moon, and Elijo Del Santo, and everyone that hosted the podcast to go go in the past year. Chucky? Yeah. He was a little bit. Was he? Yeah. And the bat. Happy holidays, kids. I'll see you in 09.